Hello, Mr. Wathi here, here with another Arduino lab. The last lab recorded almost a year ago. That was lab number three. We looked at, we had five LEDs in a row and we had different functions that made them do different things like that, different patterns, we're left to right, right to left, outside, inside, and so on. Today, we're gonna look at using the serial monitor and just looking at it to read a digital and analog input, just so we get to know what those values are. And later on, we'll be able to kind of take this whole uh, circuit to the next level. But for now, let's take a look at the serial monitor. This is kind of what the setup will look like. Um, we'll get a printout um, of the button value and the dimmer value. Cool. And to do the code, we're going to use Blockly Arduino. Right on. Um, first things first, you have to make the circuit. Um, I'll post a schematic in the notes down below, as well as a screenshot. Uh, we have something called a digital input, or just a button, and that's connected to pin 13 right here. We have a potentiometer, and that's going to be connected to the, the middle of the wiper. It will be connected to A0, one of the analog inputs. Okay, So it's important that things are connected correctly. So let's get started in Blockly Arduino. First off, I always like to start with this block here just because it mirrors what's going on with the real code. So we want the serial communi communication to, um, to be able to print out our value. So first thing we need to do, we need to initialize that connection. So we grab that block and that was just the very top right here. We wanna change that value to 9,600. And what, so what it is when you plug your Arduino in uh, via USB, it will make a connection between the two so they can send information back and forth. So we have two inputs, not outputs, inputs. One's analog, one's digital. Again, analog is the one plugged into the A0, that's the potentiometer, and we have digital D13, that's the button. So I'm gonna grab one of each of these blocks. Inputs, there we go. And digital pin 13, analog A0, I'll just write that in right away. So what we want to do, we want to we'll create a variable for each one. That way, it's always good to create variables to kind of communicate what that pin is doing. And I'll create one for, just call it dimmer. And a potentiometer dimmer, whatever you want to call it. And I can pop that in there, and I'm going to make that equal to the analog input. And I'll create another variable, and I will call it button. And I will pop that one in there. Great. So now that we have that going on, uh, we want to now send that information to the uh, serial monitor. And the block that we use here, there's a lot of stuff going on here, but we just want to use this one right here. And first, I will say, um, so it says print text. So whatever you write here is what will show up in the serial monitor. And I'll just write, um, Maybe button value. And I'll put a space. And I want to put the button value in there. And go to new line. I'm going to say no, actually. False. And again, I'll go back to serial communication. Actually, let's test this out first. Let's do that. So let's copy the code. Go to Tinkercad. Paste it in there. And I'll go start. And you'll notice that nothing happens. So you have to go down here and click on the serial monitor. That will pop this open. You can just grab that and pull it up if you like. And you notice that it's just printing off to the right. And if I click on button, click on the button, you should get ones. I don't see it though. Um, and we'll see what's going on here. So if I were to go back here and say new line true, copy that over. Let's see how that changes things. There we go. And I can click on the button and we see we get ones and I let go and we get zero. So one means on, zero is off. That's great, that's what we want. And so what, what we're gonna do here is just do the same thing for the analog. So print text, uh, let's see what we should put. Dimmer value or the analog value, either or, it doesn't matter. 
and I'll grab that variable, pop it in there, and I'll make a new line. So let's see what happens when I do this. Copy it, paste it over. So we get both values there. We notice that it's kind of messy. Yeah, see, I changed, I changed the potentiometer. We get different values, but you know, it kind of looks like garbage. Let's just stop that. See, we need some spaces there. We need uh, maybe a space between those two points there. So how do we get a space uh, right here? Well, I need to add some spaces just where this is dimmer value. So just before. So I'm just going to press, press the space bar a few times there. And we notice what uh, it's added right there. And I also add a colon and a space like so. Copy and paste it and let's run it one more time. Much better. And so now we can see when I click on that button, we get a value of one, I let go, we get zero. So that's a digital input. Digital inputs are either one or zero. And for the analog input, if we go all the way to one side, we get zero. Go all the way to the other side, we get 1,023. And we get all those numbers in between, okay? And um, that's the, the main difference between the digital and an analog input is the values that, that are going in. So if you want something that, that's just read something that's on and off, then a digital input, that's great. So think of like um, a motion sensor. You either trigger it or you don't, or um, yeah, you want something just to be on or off. Uh, then, then that's great, a digital input. But if you want something to sense a range of values and you want to do stuff with all those different values, then an analog input is the way to go. All right. And other cool things that you can do with serial monitor, you can actually um, put input. You can input information. And with that information, uh, your Arduino can do different things. So what I mean by that is that you can input information on your computer and you can make your Arduino, say, turn on or do different stuff, um, turn on the light, motor, so on. And we'll learn more about that in future sessions. Please like and subscribe. And I'll be making some more videos here. I know it's been a long, long break, but uh, I'm back at it. And I look forward to seeing you in the next ones. Cheers.